You guys are all wrong about Carson Wentz. That's what this video is about. Thank you for joining us here. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell so you will never miss another video release here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. You guys are wrong about Carson Wentz. Some guys, or some fans, I should say. I can't, I should not be so sexist and say guys. Um, some fans yesterday were calling for Carson Wentz's uh, hook, I guess, because of the loss. And I don't know why. You know, it, it's it's typical whenever your favorite team loses, then it's always the quarterback and the coach's fault. Now, I will say the coaches had a poor day yesterday for the most part. Um, I do blame a lot of the loss on the coaches. But the quarterback, you can't blame this on Carson Wentz at all. Uh, I mean, Carson actually had a pretty good day in terms of stats. I mean, and you can't say that this was garbage time stats because it really wasn't. The, the commanders were fighting their way back into this game and had a chance to get back and to tie this game in the fourth quarter. So it wasn't the fact that the game had already been decided. Um, so that wasn't the case. It wasn't like a, you know, it wasn't anything like a Kirk Cousins type of pat statting or pat statting, <laughs> stat padding, <clears throat> coffee, pat statting. That is, uh, I'm going to have to coin that term somehow. Anyway. Carson Wentz was 30 for 46 yesterday, 337 yards, three touchdowns to one interception. I mean, it's pretty good stats. He's thrown for over 300 yards in the past two games. He's So far, he's had seven touchdown passes to three interceptions. Uh, would like to see him cut the interceptions down. The interception yesterday was not his fault. It was a tip pass. So, <clears throat> you know, you can't blame that on Carson. So, really, Carson has played well, folks. We have a quarterback. So, you know, this doesn't come down to the fact that this was something that, um, you know, Carson had a boneheaded play and threw a pick that ended the game. That wasn't the case. <clears throat> you know, he was sacked six times, I believe, yesterday. Three of those came from uh, one defensive end, their, their uh, Detroit's second-year defensive end, uh, their top drafted defensive end from a year ago, I believe. <clears throat> and, and that yeah, three of those came in the first half. And so Carson was pressured all day long. He was hurt. He was rushed. Uh, speaking of rushing, Carson did have that one big uh, scramble for 23 yards. So, you know, Carson can, he can do it on, on the ground too if he needs to. So Carson has, has played well for the most part. You know, I mean, you can't really blame anything on Carson. <clears throat> I, I would challenge anybody who would put this game on, you know, this loss on Carson Wentz. You, you just don't do that. It, it's It shows your lack of, of football IQ, honestly. If you want to blame this loss on, on anybody, you got to blame this loss on the fact that the offensive line just crumbled yesterday, for one thing. We couldn't get any... Uh, running game started up at all we barely had a rushing game i think uh was it antonio gibson only had 28 yards yeah 28 yards rushing so you're not going to win very many ball games when you're you're back out of the backfield is only rushing for 28 yards and um i think jd mckissick he had three carries for nine yards <clears throat> now curtis samuel kind of lines up in the backfield sometimes as well but it's more of a gadget type of thing and you know he had he had some good carries but I think it, it was in the 20s as well so yeah I mean you're, you're not going to win very many ball games having to pass every single down 
and you've got to be able to have a running game established and it all starts up front and unfortunately the offensive line just did not have a good day yesterday and because of that Carson was pressured we couldn't get They run a game going. Our offense was dead in the water in that first half. Down 22 to nothing. So, you know, for the team to make some pretty good halftime adjustments, coming out there in the third quarter to get back into the ball game and at one point just be down by seven points, that was was pretty good. Unfortunately, the defense, you know, they, they as well, The defense was horrible. The defensive line just allowed huge chunks of running. Could not contain. Cole Holcomb had eight tackles on his own yesterday in the first half alone. And that was because that there were so many times that the running back got through the first line of defense that you had to rely on your linebackers to to make the tackles. Now, the defensive line held up in the third quarter there for a little bit for about, I think it was four, uh, I think it was uh, was four series that um, Detroit was three and out. But the secondary continues to be a liability. And the secondary just does not, they don't really appear to be improving at all their communication is horrible we saw William Jackson the third yesterday make the wrong decision and go and double team a wide receiver meanwhile leaving another wide receiver doing a crossing pattern wide open which led to a huge play and just no communication whatsoever with with the secondary so you want to blame this on anybody don't blame it on Carson Wentz Carson has played really well for this team for the first time in a while we have a quarterback who can lead us into some good things but the sporting cast has got to be there as well and if the sporting cast is not going to help us it's going to be a long season Um, you know if the coaching staff decides to make some boneheaded decisions and go for two points just because there's a Excel spreadsheet somewhere that tells you you're supposed to go for two in that situation. You got to also use your head and your gut instinct to tell you that's taking too much of a chance. Let's just kick the extra point. Let's stay within seven. Let's get another opportunity to, to stop the other team, get the ball back, try to tie up the game. Because I mean, what happened? They missed an extra point later on, killed, just literally killed all sorts of momentum after that. Let me know in the comment sections what you think about Carson Wentz. Keep it clean as always. And guys, please support this channel. I don't know if I'm shadow banned or what, but uh, the views are not coming in, so... And that's unlike this channel. Usually this channel gets at least, you know, a thousand views per per video. So um, I guess my, my channel is starting back from ground zero again. Support this channel. You can do so by, well, subscribing to this channel, hitting that notification bell so you know when I'm releasing videos. Other than that, like this video, like any of my videos comment on the videos, share the videos with other people you feel like would be interested in watching these videos. And other than that, you can also support this channel in many other ways. Let me show you.